In this video, I'm gonna take inspiration from the great godfather of marketing, Seth Godin, in his last book, which was called This Is Marketing. And he said something really that stuck with me in that book, and that is there is a distinct difference between marketing and advertising. Now, I really happen to agree with him, and in this video, I'm gonna break down the reasons I think marketing is better than advertising, but the main thing is you should still continue to advertise as well. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts on that really poignant sentence he made in that book, coming up. Hey guys, Darren Taylor of TheBigMarketer.com here and my job is to make you a better marketer. Now if that sounds up your street, you should consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit the like button below if you're getting value from this video. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, I want to discuss the difference between marketing and advertising. Now a lot of people think these are the same thing, but you're wrong. So I can already hear you asking what the difference is between marketing and advertising. So let's get on with the very first one you're probably more familiar with, and that is the term advertising. Advertising is exactly what it says. It's buying adverts in order to promote your business. So this could be the form of doing PPC on Google, it could be doing SEO, it could be doing things like Facebook advertising as well, it could be buying billboards out on the street. Now, all of these are forms of advertising and the definition of doing that is essentially you're paying for attention, you're buying advertising. So whenever you're doing anything where you're transacting in order to promote your business in terms of that piece of buying media, then that is buying ads. Now that is advertising. And it's also, of course, a large part of marketing, which is where the two terms, I guess, kind of intersect. But there is a distinct difference between advertising, which I just highlighted, and marketing. Marketing, on the other hand, is a different story altogether. In the eyes of someone like Seth Godin, marketing is essentially the process of promoting your business through value-added content and consistency. Now, let's just rewind for a second and look at that in a bit more detail. The theory goes that if you commit to creating content on a regular basis, for example, in a podcast or in a blog or like I'm doing right now with video, then by consistently showing up and creating content based for your target audience, geared specifically towards them on a consistent basis, then that alone will cement your brand in the minds of your target market. Now, you haven't spent a penny on advertising, you haven't bought any ad space, all you've been doing is creating content. Now, the cost for doing that is of course your time, but your time isn't something you're transacting with on that regard. So in, it's, I guess it's different to advertising because you're not specifically buying attention. But with that said, by executing on content that regularly, you are getting attention. So you're not buying it, but you're still getting attention. Now, the distinct difference between the two areas are marketing gets you paid tomorrow advertising gets you paid today. Now what I mean by that is, if you go out there and start advertising, spending money on Google Ads for example, if you've got a fast moving product and you use Google Shopping, if you put ads out there, people will transact with you today and that is great, you shouldn't stop advertising. If anyone takes anything from this video, it's not that marketing trumps advertising and you should stop advertising, it's that they're two different streams and you need to work on both of them as a business because Advertising will pay the bills today, marketing will pay the bills tomorrow because when you're showing up consistently and driving people to view your brand because of value added content, you get to a stage where you're acquiring business and getting leads and generating customers without having to spend a single penny on ads. So the reason I think marketing is better than advertising in my opinion is because I think advertising can change with external factors. So if you're, for example, doing a lot of SEO, Google can change their algorithm. And yes, I know as an SEO myself, I know there are ways to keep up to date with these things and do things in the best way to make sure that you don't drop off a cliff, but there is still a risk of doing that. Now, of course, if you do things like PPC as well, competition elements could come into that as well, and potentially campaigns can become less profitable. And again, with Facebook ads in the future, at the moment, it's a great place to be. In the future, it's gonna become as, as squeezed as Google ads. Now, all of these advertising methods are fantastic. They all work. I promote them from the rooftops. But the difference with marketing, which is a very big difference, is that you own the content. It's your platform. It's your website. It's your podcast. You create the video. You are promoting yourself on a number of different mediums, and you own the content outright. And that content has a much longer shelf life than a PPC ad. As soon as I search for something on Google, 
and then I don't click your ad, your ad's gone. I've gone somewhere else. If I create content consistently, I create a video that adds value. Whoever is looking for that value will find that video, watch it and understand that my brand can help with their problems. And you guys should do the same as well because it works really successfully. So I guess really my question to you is, what are you going to do now that you know marketing needs to run alongside advertising? Have you been running ads for a very long time and relying on ads consistently and becoming squeezed and a bit more pressured? For example, if you've been running Google ads, you know that for example, from 10 years ago till now, the cost per click has gone up massively and you're becoming squeezed. So in reality, you should be doing marketing as well. Are you marketing your brand? Are you adding value to customers? Are you promoting your business through the means of communication with blogs, with, with podcasts, with videos? All of these different methods are really, really going to help you grow your business. And of course, as I said before, rely on advertising by all means, continue to advertise as long as ads work, keep buying them. But what are you doing to grow your brand? Let me know in the comments below if you're gonna start producing content consistently. Let me know what mediums you're gonna start using. Maybe you've been doing this already yourself successfully and you've been producing content for a blog or a podcast or video content. Let me know in the comments below what your medium of choice is. And more important than that, don't forget to subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube, if you're over on LinkedIn. Don't forget to say hi and leave me a like or a comment below. Check out the other content across my channel and I'll see you guys on my next video.